Hey everybody, Alex from seemsgoodmagic.com here. We're doing a Swiss Magic Origins draft. Open Molten Vortex, which is a great rare. I think we're going to pick it up. We are passing a Seismic Elemental, which basically has zero chance of tabling. And could be a good enough card for someone to who I'm passing to to want to jump into red, depending on what their first pick is. But uh, hopefully if we just you know snag enough red passing to him, then it won't be a big deal, and basically we'll just we're gonna lose out on a seismic elemental, which does suck. Uh, but hope to table Pricklebore, since that's pretty playable. A couple of good blue cards in here, something to keep in mind. I still think seismic elemental is absolutely the strongest card in this pack after molten vortex, though. So we'll see what happens. But vortex to start it off, to be sure. Okay, follow-up pick. Well, strongest card in the pack is either Separatist Void Mage or Suppression Bonds. In red, there's Fire Fiend Elemental. Excuse me, I'm not the biggest fan of Elemental or Chandra's Fury, really. I think I'm fine taking Void Mage. I really like the Thunderclap Wyvern, but obviously you have to be in blue-white to make that work. And I think Suppression Bonds is actually a fine card, but I think I'm going to take the Void Mage anyway. I, I just love this card. Such a fantastic card. So good for tempo. And even though it's a different color second pick, I think that's ultimately going to be okay. Well, all right. Getting past a Wart Oracle. That's pretty interesting. There's a Titan Strength in red. I do think Wart Oracle is definitely stronger. Um, and nothing else really comes close. I guess we'll take the War Oracle. Taking a third color is not ideal here, but what do you want me to say? We got past one. All right, Celestial Flare seems fine. I think it's stronger. Well, it's not necessarily stronger than Titan Strength. Titan Strength is pretty awesome. Uh, nothing in blue I care about, and nothing else in white I care about. Of all three of these cards, Molten Vortex seems like the one I want to play the most. I guess, you know, there's a fine argument that Titan Strength might be a better card than Celestial Flare in this format. So I think I'm going to go with Titan Strength here. All right. Interesting. None of these cards are terribly exciting. I think we'll take the Scout. Because like I said, of all the cards I have currently, Molten Vortex is the one I want to play the most. And we're really in this pack, especially not giving up anything for it. So, okay. All right. I would say a sixth pick Valoron Wardens is probably a sign that Green is, in fact, open, and we already have a couple of cards that synergize well with it. Subterranean Scout and Titan Strength in red. So I think we're just going to go Valoran Wardens here. I love that card, by the way. Uh, interesting. I think here I'm going to take the Goldforge Sentinel. Ring Warden Owl is fine, but Sentinel's at least playable in any deck. Well, I'm a big Might of the Masses fan. Uh, Nantuko Husk might be the strongest card remaining in here, but I'm going to take Might of the Masses. I feel like that Valoran Wardens, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but uh, just really feels like white and blue dried up a little bit. We saw some blue cards. None of them were exciting. Like I said, we're trying to make the red work, and I feel as though red-green is the direction I want this to go based on pack one, but... I'm willing to let whatever, maybe a powerhouse rare sort of dictate what our second color can be. But I do think I want to be in red. Molten Vortex is quite a strong card. Any any card that really just totally turns off uh, getting mana flooded is pretty nice. Hmm, couple white cards, I guess. Uh, it's a pretty late shambling ghoul. It's supposed to be red-black? We saw the late husk, too. I don't care enough about Rambler to take it here, even though I am going to be in red. I'm going to take the ghoul. Now we're officially a five-color deck, folks, with no Evolving Wilds. I'd say tabling a Fire Fiend Elemental is a good sign. I'm going to take it over the Bloodsucker here. 
Hmm. None of these cards matter. Elemental Bond. Eh. Yeah. Actually, just none of these cards matter. I think I'm just going to take this Foil Forest. It's probably worth the most. Veteran Sidearm, sure. Playable in any deck. A couple blue cards, not very exciting. Not likely to play Jam Day Tomb. I guess if I end up in green, maybe I'll want an Aerial Volley. We're in a tricky spot. Like I said, we're definitely red. We did not end up with a ton of playables, though. So we're really going to have to focus fire on a color out of pack two here. And I'm not sure which one yet. We saw the super late Shambling Ghoul. And remember, there was a late Nantuko Husk. That, that kind of makes me lean towards green. Well, we're going to take the Abbott starter off, since that card's awesome. And we're definitely in red, so it's perfect. And it's worth a couple tickets. There's really just no downside to taking Abbott at all. Uh, other good red cards in here, hoping to table one of them. Uh, Topin Freeblade, a couple good white cards. Naturalist, a couple good green cards. Shrouding Mist, quite a few white cards, I guess, that are good, and quite a few red cards. So we'll see what tables from here, but... Happy to start off with a playable red card. Okay, I kind of want the Impulse here. Yes, there's Graveblade Marauder, which is a fine card, but Impulse is quite good, and we're 100% in red, so I think we're just going to snap that up. There's more powerful cards, maybe, but Impulse is very good removal in this format. All right, I'm, you know, I'm kind of fine continuing down the red path. This card's playable. Certainly not amazing, but playable. See if we can't table a Shambling Ghoul again. At least we're picking up red cards. That's all that really matters at the moment. Ooh. Keep that red flowing. All right. I think we take Thopter Engineer here. It seems like the most exciting out of these picks. Especially since we don't really have any goblins to support this. And Thralling Victor is actually a fine card. Act of Treason is not terribly exciting. But Thopter Engineer is actually quite good. So happily picking that up. Okay, I think we actually take a card in a different color now. I can take the Force Mage. I can also take the Automaton. Maybe I'm working towards a mono red deck. I don't love it. I don't love this white card. I don't love either of the black cards, really. I mean, Thornbow Archer, ugh, I don't like it in an aggro deck. I don't even like it in an elf deck that much. I think Force Mage is probably the most playable here. But I could just take Automaton. How's my curve looking and I guess I only have one four drop in red only I think I'm going to take Automaton it's it's possible that I build some sort of mono red deck not likely but it's also possible I play mostly red and splash a second color which I'm a little more interested in at this point alright well Subterranean Scout is kind of the most exciting card left in here so it's kind of perfect pick for us like I said, if there's anything to be relieved about, it's that red appears to be open. And uh, Subterranean Scout actually works well with the Scab Clan Berserker, which is kind of cool. Well, I think we continue plucking up red cards. So I'll take the Fire Fiend Elemental. I did say I'm not a huge fan of it, which is true, but there's nothing in here I really care about otherwise. I like the Aeronaut, Bloodsuckers. Playable, but not great. Elemental might actually be the only pick we actually care about in there. So, we're still red, but we don't know what else we are. Currently have only two red four drops, and then one more in the automaton. So, just based on this, our curve doesn't look bad. Yeah, curve actually looks fine. So, what's our second color? I don't know. Hopefully we can figure that out. Prickle Bore. I can take that. It's probably more exciting than Bonded Construct. I do like the Construct. It's a fairly late Celestial Flare. Double White, though, with our other Double White. And they're the only two cards in our deck. I don't love it. There's a Tabled Rock Smaller, which is quite good. Then that turns on Valoran Wardens in our deck, which is good with Berserker and our two Elementals. Like, going Wardens into Elementals is actually quite good. Hmm. 
I, I think Mauler is a better card than Pricklebore. I'm going to take the Mauler. Maybe we just start working towards this green. Good. We tabled some red cards as hoped and expected. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to take the Bogger Brute over the Skyraker Giant. I think Bogger Brute's slightly better. At this point, let's just try and pull the trigger on a green red deck. But let's take the Brute here over the Giant. I think Giant's fine, but I think Brute might actually be slightly better. All right, I'll, I'll take the Bully. Some fairly late white cards, but that's okay. I'll take the Bully anyway. Okay, Construct with Pricklebore. Probably take Pricklebore here. It's a nice aggressive card. Well, I mean, it's five mana, so how aggressive is it really? But attacking for five power first strike is is pretty difficult to block. All right, enthralling victor. So if anything, we're picking up playable uh, picking up playable red cards. So that's all we really care about at the moment. And it's still possible to make a mono red. I don't have a ton of incentive to do it since the Wardens, like I said, is actually pretty good in this deck with the Subterranean Scouts as well as the Scab Gland Berserker, two Fire Fiend Elementals, and Rock Smaller. Like, we actually have some decent ways to draw off Valoran Wardens. We have plenty of creatures. I think if I was going to cut anything, Veteran Sidearm seems like an easy card to cut. Goldforge Sentinel is not terribly exciting. I wouldn't mind upgrading it. This deck needs some more removal. Basically just have a fiery impulse. Knight of the White Orchid's not worth anything, right? It's worth an entire 11 cents. Not too excited about that. I think we're just going to take the Sergeant here. It's got better synergy with our Valoran Wardens. Hope to table the Boggart Brute. Pick up the only two red cards worth anything in that pack. Worth anything to us. Uh, if I do end up in green, which... It looks like we could pretty easily make happen. I probably don't want to play the Automaton either. Sergeant, it helps that Sergeant has good synergy with Subterranean Scout as well. Alright, Gear, gear, gear Crafter, rather. Good card. Hope to table Subterranean Scout. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Also an Elvish Visionary in here, which is good. It's pretty good white cards in here. But I'm picking up some pretty solid-looking red cards, too. All right. Undercity Troll is very good. I think we're just going to take it. At this point, seems like a card totally worth pulling the trigger on for green, since it's a two-drop. Works very well with Valoran Wardens. Going Troll into Wardens on an empty board on the play is insane. And it just ups our renown count. It also has more synergy with Subterranean Scout. Basically, everything about Undercity Troll is very good, uh, and especially for this deck. So hope to table Titan Strength. I'd settle for Matring Bully, but to be honest, Bully's not even that good in this deck. We only have four non-creature spells at the moment. Alright, Seismic Elemental is fantastic. Absolutely picking that up. Makes a fine 23rd card at the moment. So, sure. Looking very good. Looking very good. Alright, taking Titan Strength here. We're going to cut... Guardian Automaton. I think the next cut is probably Goldforge Sentinel. I doubt that's going to be good enough to make the deck. But everything else looks just fine. Titan Strength is quite good. Nothing in here we care about. Okay. Sounds good to me. Timber Pack Wolf as just a 2-mana two 2-2. Two -two, or Cobble Brute as a 4-mana 5-2. Um, I wouldn't mind upgrading our Majoring Bully. I think I'd prefer the Timber Pack Wolf just because we don't have a ton of non-creature spells to support it. I don't like having having to attack every turn. is just not very good. I do think Cobble Brute's fine, but I'm going to take the, the Wolf here, actually. I guess currently I'm running them both, but hoping to find an upgrade. All right. Orchard Spirit versus Might of the Masses, number two versus Chandra's Fury. Well, Chandra's Fury burns face, but Might of the Masses seems pretty good in our 18 creature deck. Like, you can get away with not a lot of removal if you have some pretty awesome combat tricks. Considering the vast majority of our deck is creatures, I think Might of the Masses tends to be pretty good. Chandra's Fury is going to be good against token decks. I kind of like our curve already, the way it is, though. I wouldn't mind basically... Cutting a Majoring Bully, I think, for another Might. 
I think Orchard Spirit's legitimate too, but I'm going to take the Might here. Might for days, huh? All right. Well, maybe three is pushing it. Certainly nothing else in here I care about. Guess we'll take the third one. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm on the fence at the moment. Um, Al Alchemist Vial is playable. We have all the renowned guys. Maybe we make it work. Gear per Aether Grid. Don't have a ton of artifacts. I don't think we're going to make that happen. None of these other cards matter. I guess we'll take it. Visionary Tabling is pretty awesome. It's, I think it's an easy upgrade from Bully. Even though we're trying to be aggressive, Visionary is just vastly superior in my mind. All right, we'll take the Reclaim. Maybe a sideboard card. Don't really care about that. All right, nice looking deck. I think we're going to be cutting one card. Another Foil Land. It's our lucky day. All right, we're going to be cutting one card. I haven't figured out what yet. Maybe it is the Timber Pack Wolf. Kind of leaves us with, like, all high-value cards, honestly. Pricklebore, Seismic Elemental, Rock Smaller are kind of a nice five-drop combination. I still like our four-drops. All of our... That's funny. All of our non-creature spells are one mana. That's pretty remarkable. Uh, Timberpack Wolf, I guess, can most easily get cut since it's like I said kind of the least exciting card in our deck it is nice to have like two three really consistent two mana two drop three drop four drop five drop um, which makes me not quite want to cut the timberback wolf but all of our three drops are better the four drops I th and the five drops I think are better too so it seems like wolf is like the weakest card in our deck since it's just a grizzly bear um, I like having double Mighty of the Masses with 17 creatures. I think that's quite good. Double Titan Strength is good. like the Vortex in case we get flooded and Impulse as our one removal spell. We are removal light, no doubt. But I think we can push damage through with our combat tricks. And Seismic Elemental can absolutely push damage through. So, all right, I think this is as good as this deck's going to get. Take a look at our curve here how many green manas do we run well we're not super color intensive as a matter of fact we only have two double red spells so i think we can actually get away with nine eight i, I mean i need to hit a turn two under city troll and nine is in my mind enough to see a mountain every game I do want to hit Scab Clan Berserker on turn three consistently, but I think nine mountains covers that fairly well too. Definitely want to run our forest, foil forest for luck. Uh, yeah, this looks fine. Not a terribly exciting deck, but Molten Vortex and Fiery Impulse are decent removal sources. And our curve's not terribly high, so once we get to five mana, we just get to pocket all of our lands until we get to Molten Vortex and then just go hog wild. Um, yeah, I mean, this deck looks fine. We've got some card advantage, right, with the Wardens. We've got, we've got a lot of Renown, which is really nice. We've got Troll, Wardens, Berserker, Sergeant, and Double Elemental and Mauler. What is that, seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven is a pretty good Renown count. For not even knowing what our second color was until pack three. So I like this deck. I think it's looking good. Like I said, double subterranean scout helps quite a bit to help turn on our early renowned guys. So I think that's it. There's the deck. We'll run it like this. We'll see you around one.